Hi, Cody with Go Hunt. I wanted to talk to you guys today about you know glassing. Uh, we get a lot of questions concerning you know binoculars and tripods and you know when and one you know not to use them or spotting scopes and you know you know I think the first and foremost thing is is that you know you can see the kind of terrain that we're glassing here and it's really quite simple. You know, use good glass, put it on a tripod. You know, slow down, be methodical. There's times to to power glass or be quick and look at the escape routes, look at those kind of things. But, you know, more importantly, I, I think what happens is, is that, you know, sometimes you, you really need to, to slow down and be methodical. After you've looked around and looked at the obvious places that look deary or, you know, look like escape routes. So, <clears throat> you know, when we use the term methodical or we use the term gritting, you know, that is, it's quite simply, it's moving your glasses in a, in a left or right fashion and then moving down and then moving back across that. And it's not just gritting. Every time that you spend, like if I were gonna look into this piece right here, I've got a nice big field of view and I'm gonna let my eyes move all around that piece until I feel that I've looked at everything that I need to look at or anything that's out of place or you know, anything that looks like it might be a deer or horns or antlers or, you know, ears or, you know, maybe a, a, a deer bedded underneath a, a juniper or whatnot. But I think the important thing is to do is let your eyes really walk across the entire field of view and then go ahead and move it over and overlap your field of view and do it all over again. And if you do this and you do this methodically pretty soon, you know, I can cover all, you know, one section and I can move up to, you know, like the higher section that you see up top here. But, but really, it, it, it comes down to letting your eyes kind of do the walking for you. I, I think if you slow down, let your eyes do that um, and, and pick apart each little bush and e each little field of view, you really stand a good chance at finding more deer. So, you know, you've already spent a bunch of time in the morning. Maybe you've been seeing some deer moving. Maybe they've moved it into their bed. You know, there, there's a time and a place to, to use that theory of slow down and be methodical and and you know one of the times to do that is to do it during the middle of the day deer aren't moving maybe the sun's up it's hot um, you know they haven't uh, they're not feeding and and you know they're looking for a, a shady place to lay down um, that's the time of the day you know say from that you know let's just call it 10 to 2 that uh, that you might go ahead and, and, and try this theory and and really slow down and, and be methodical behind the glass once you've done that once you find game, we always talk about, you know, what you'd want to do is lock down your optics and, you know, let's say I've got a deer in this, in this view right here. So I'm going to switch, I'm going to lock everything down. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to throw my spotting scope. Now I haven't touched this and it's not been moved. So then I'm going to slide my spotting scope on. I'm going to lock it down and I at least should be looking. I'm going to turn my power way down. So my field of view should be at least in the same field of view that my binocular was. And, you know, we've talked about in different videos about the straight versus the angled. This is why I like the straights, because I didn't have to move my tripod and I'm able just to basically go, and, go in and, and look where I'm looking. I can focus up and I can start studying that, that deer or, you know, do I think it's a deer? Do I think it's a buck? Um, you know, how big is the buck? Um, but that's, you know, in, in short, that's how you make a transition from, you know, a binocular to a spotting scope and, and be very, you know, very methodical about it. Make sure you lock down your optic or your, your head first, then remove your, your binoculars, slide your spotting scope on, lock it down, and you should be at least in the same, in the same uh, uh, field of view. Being in the position I am, I get asked a lot, you know, how I do things or, you know, what's my process. And I'm, I'm just gonna give you a real quick scenario. Um, you know, you can see the country that I'm in. The first thing I'm gonna do is when I get to that spot that I'm gonna glass, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna look for the basic, all the, the escape routes. I'm gonna look in the saddles. I'm gonna look in the places that I know that deer can get away from me real quick, like this low saddle right here. I'm gonna give that a once over. And yes, I'm not using a tripod but I'm looking for movement right now. I'm looking in these saddles. I'm looking for easy escape routes. 
I'm looking for those places that I can hit the skylines real quick for deer that are topping out and over that they can get away, you know, away from me before I can get good glass on them. So once I've done that, um, I might even buddy up with a partner when we're doing that. As he's setting up the tripod, I'm looking at all the escape routes. And then w once we feel like we've got everything settled, then I go ahead, put my, my glasses away. I've already got the, the tripod set up. So then I start breaking down. Um, in an area like this, I always kind of look to the areas that I think look most deary or look things that, that you know, I, again, I look for these high saddles. I look for those, the, the, the shaded spots. I'm kind of looking for the areas that maybe I think deer are gonna hide most in. And those are the spots that I'm gonna turn and, and, and get the glass set on first. So I'll give those a good, good look, see, start moving on those. Once I feel like I've covered those areas and maybe I haven't seen any deer, you know, uh, in this area really start moving yet, then I'll start breaking, in, you know, into I'm, you know, being more methodical and slowing down. And if I find something, it, it, that's at that point that I switch to a spotting scope, really study it. If it's not what I'm looking for, I switch back to my binos and, and repeat the process all over. So there are some glassing tips, the way that I do things. Um, and remember guys, you know, it, it's good to get out and do this and kind of build your own thought processes and how you do it. My way isn't the only way. It's not just the right way. Um, look, there's, you know, a lot of years, you know, 30 plus years of experience about, you know, doing that. And it's been really successful for me and, and you know, a number of the people that are around um, that I've, you know, been fortunate to be with. Bottom line is, get out there in glass, get your, tri get your optics on a tripod, slow down, be methodical. So those are your glassing tips from GoHunt.com. Um, if you have any questions, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave your comments there. Reach us by email at optics at GoHunt.com. GoHunt, your new optics authority.